Hi, I'm Sandata here, Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Computer Programming 3 Cobol Series. Right now, we are on our lecture 2, week 1. Now, let's proceed to our topic for today. Now, this is the continuation of the topic after midterm. It means to say this is the final period topic. Okay, in, in week 10 to 13, we have arithmetic statement. Add, subtract, multiply, divide, and compute. And next to this, we have the move statement. We need to move the numeric, non-numeric, and the corresponding. Next, in week to 10, 10, 13, justified right clause, the blank when zero clause and moving data to a field in print record next to this we have the if statement and under if statement we have five class test sign test compound test implied condition and condition names test next on uh, last part of uh, week 10 to 13 so we have nested ifs on the if uh, part and the next sentence statement after if we have perform statement we have conditional as a subtopic perform and unconditional perform and the last we have the goto statement which is 3.5 the learning outcome of this topic is for the student to know and understand the different procedure statement of the COBOL program. Next, we have week 14 to 16, that is the table handling. So we have uh, 5, that is occurs clause, redefined clause, one level table, two level table, and the three level table. So we have a typo error, 4.1.4. Next, we have uh, 4.2 interactive programming. The first one is accept and display. And the uh, last part of week 14 to 16, 4.3 table lookups. We have under this set search statement, sequential lookup by a perform varying, sequential lookup by a search statement. And the last one, they have binary lookup by a search all statement. The learning outcome of this is to know how to apply table handling and table searching a sequential file and random file and on week 17 we have the final practical examination under the review before the exam and you will be notified for the exact date and time of the exam once prepared covers midterm and final note all topics covered in discussion are all included in the exam Topics that have been discussed are not included on the exam. Week 18 is a roundup activities, which means we're going to evaluate the topics we have um, discuss, and uh, we go back again to the course description of uh, the I IPO, the input process output, what is the outcome of the discussion after finishing all of the topics we have instructional media videos related to topic mentioned above note extended readings may be assigned by a professor kindly read modules provided sent to fb gmail or teams which is i already do or i already done this now the books and course references structured cobalt programming latest edition by stern and stern cobalt free computer books www.computer-books.us cobol.php then we have Zing Cobol a beginner guide to Cobol programming by Timothy R. P. Brown then teach yourself Cobol in 21 days by Mo Budlong and the last we have Cobol programming course University of Limerick course assessment and evaluation criteria the grading and requirements midterm grade 60% class standing attendance quizzes and long test activities, exercises, and project recitation. That is your class standing, 60%. And uh, 
40% midterm examination. 60 plus 40 is 100%. Final grade is 50% midterm grade plus 30% class standing plus 20% final examination. Note some numeration sometimes doesn't fit enough so we change that to a more effective requirements especially in an online class now let's move to the rubrics or the grading system on how to to give you score or percentage a we have program design 25 percent if your solution well thought out that is 25 15 solution partially planned out five ad hoc solution program design at the keyboard program execution 20 percent letter b and uh, 20 for the program runs correctly 12 for the program produces correctly output half of the time and 4 program, ru program runs but mostly incorrect and 0 program does not compile or run at all letter c specification satisfaction 25 percent 25 in terms of program satisfy specification completely and correct 15 for many parts of the specification not implemented 5 program does not satisfy specification coding style 20% well form formatted understandable code so we have typographical error that is code appropriate use of the language capabilities code hard to follow in one reading poor use of language capabilities and or for incomprehensive code, appropriate language capabilities not used. Next, we have letter E and F, which the same as 10% comments for letter E, 10 for concise, meaningful, were formatted comments, partially poor, poorly written, or poorly formatted comments, 4 for wordy, unnecessary, incorrect, or badly formatted comments, 0, no comments at all. Extra credit, 10%. For programs that useful, usefully extend the requirements. Three programs that use a particular good algorithm. And uh, programs that are particularly well written or use the capabilities of the language particularly well. But where is 10? So that is one of the problem also. Now, congratulations. You successfully finished our lecture number two. Thank you.